Hello STBians. Welcome again to the online class of STB. Today we are going to learn about parts of plant and their functions. Students, do you know there are over 3,75,000 different types of plants in the world and a new plant discovered every day. Plants range in size from the very small to the very big. Like the smallest algae can be seen only with the microscope and duckweed, a flowering plant that grows in water, it's so small that around 25 of them can fit on our fingernail. Students, the tallest trees can be over 80 meter high, taller than a 25 story building. Do you know plants can grow on land, in water, in very hot desert, in freezing cold and on top of very high mountains. For example, cactus. Cactus can grow where there is a little water and their thick stem and branches store water. And in snowy mountains, the alpine poppy grows close to the ground where it is protected from the winds. The lotus grows in water. Plants can have woody stems or soft stems and plants can be flowering or non-flowering both. Like we have some body parts which we can use to do so many work. Do you know? Plants also have different parts to carry out different functions. Through different in size, most of plants have some basic parts. Each part has its own work to do. A plant has two main parts. First, root system. Second, shoot system. First, the part that grows under the ground is called root system and the part that grows above the ground called the shoot system. The shoot consists of stem, branches, leaves, buds, flowers, fruits and seeds. So let's discuss about the root. The roots of a plant generally grow below the ground. They fix the plant firmly in the ground and keep it upright. They take water and food from the soil. Roots are of two types. First, tap root. Second, fibrous root. First point is tap root. When there is a long main root at the end of the stem and many small size roots growing from the main root, it is called a tap root. Example of tap roots are carrot, beetroot, turnip, etc. Next point is fibrous root. When a number of roots grow, the end of the stem, they are called fibrous root. Example of fibrous root are onion, grass and rice etc. Let's discuss about functions of the roots. Root hold the plant firmly to the ground and roots take in water and mineral salts from the ground. Do you know students? Some plants such as turnip, beetroot and carrot store extra food in the roots. Have you noticed that these roots that store food are of a different colors 
are not the usual brown. Carrots can be orange or red. Beetroot is purplish red and radish is white or red. So, our next point is the stem. The stem is the main part of the shoot system. It holds branches, leaves and the rest of the plant upright so they get sunlight. Students, stems can be hard like that of a mango tree or neem tree or soft like that of a banana plant. Students, the stem of some plants such as pumpkin plant or the grapevine is so soft that it needs support. These plants are called climbers or creepers. Some climbing plants have tendrils. These tendrils look like the coils of a spring. They help to catch hold of some support of the plant. Some plants wrap themselves around the supports. Plants with heavy fruits such as pumpkin and watermelon trail on the ground. And some plants such as a mango tree have wide spreading branches that provide shade. Or pine trees grow in cold regions. They have short sloping branches so that snow can slide off their branches. Students, so let's discuss about functions of the stem. The stem carries water and mineral salts from the roots to the rest of the plant. The stem carries food made by the leaves to the rest of the plant. And stems are the delivery system of the plant. Roots get water and nutrients from the soil. The stems carry the water and nutrients throughout the plant. Stems hold the plant up above the ground. Students, do you know sometimes extra food is stored in the stem. Example, potato, ginger and sugar cane of plants that store food in the stem. Potato and ginger are stems that grow underground. They are called tubers. We eat some such tubers. Do you know students, in some parts of our country, people eat the stem of the lotus plant. Our next point is leaves. Leaves come in many shapes but most of leaves have a leaf blade, a main vein and side veins. Water is carried through the veins. The leaf has tiny holes called stomata. The plant breathes through these holes. The leaves of a plant like a factory that makes food. Do you know how do plants make food? The process by which plants make food is called photosynthesis. The root takes in water and mineral salts from the soil. The stem takes them to the leaves. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air through the stomata. They also take in sunlight. A green substance called chlorophyll found in the leaves uses sunlight to turn the water, minerals and carbon dioxide into a kind of starchy or sugary food. This process is called photosynthesis. Students definitely have seen that leaves are in many colors that are red, yellow, green streaked with white and so on. But they are all green leaves as they contain a green substance called chlorophyll. 
Some plants do not have chlorophyll. They are known as non-green plants. Example, mushrooms, yeast. They do not have chlorophyll, so they cannot make their own food. And they are not green in color.